what's up, man? Hey, so listen. Free is good. This is a small update. Um, I'm about to make a trip out to, I don't know, it's really up the street, not far. Uh, I found a guy, finally, who wanted to trade wheels. Say goodbye to the Cobras. I know they look cool. I know they're super wide. But it's not like the car's got a lot of horsepower. Anyways, um, the truth is, they're banged up. They're chipped up. And I personally just don't like the style on this Fox. I think that they're very... Um, you know, mid 90s looking wheel. Looks good on the 95s. Fox bodies, you know, unless this car has a total hardcore suspension and brakes package, which it will have once I put the um, the 5 lug conversion on it. Now, we're going to get some pretty badass brakes, I hope. And I do 5 lug, you know, and um, at that point, some springs on it, some good shocks, and uh, get the suspension kind of dialed in, and then I'll uh, put some pretty cool wheels on it. Meantime, I really just want some ponies, and um, got myself so I found a guy. He's got he's got some ponies. Um, of course, you can't tell from the picture here. So he's got some ponies for sale. We're gonna go pick these up. Looks like they've been sitting. Um, the actual ponies themselves are in the wheels themselves are in good shape. One of the caps here. I know you can't really tell. One of the caps here is faded. So, so yeah, so I'm going to get this thing jacked up, and uh, we'll pull the wheels off, get them loaded on the truck, and we'll take a trip, and uh, take up the wheels, bolt them on, and see how it looks. Okay, so she's got no wheels. Hopefully this isn't a mistake. Um, I don't really care. I mean, it's free. If I hate them and it just doesn't look her eye, just, I don't know. Whatever. We can always fix that. But for now, that's what I'm doing. So, off to Kennedale. Yeah. Alright, man, so I'm driving back. And um, I got the wheels. And I'm happy. They look good. Um... Really kind of wheels I wanted on it anyways to begin with, so I'm stoked that I found somebody who was super in love with the Cobra wheels. He was extremely happy, man. This kid was was stoked. Um, he's happy, and I'm happy to get rid of him, so I guess it's a happy ending for everybody. So, man, that's cool. We're going to go home and try to get them put on, and um, I don't know. I may do it tomorrow. It's getting kind of late, and uh, we'll try to maybe start to get it down and... Uh, Get it on all fours, just kind of get a look what it's gonna look like. I like to take them to the car wash, check them out, and um, you know while they're all four off the car, just take them to a wash and you know, scrub them down with some some good cleaner, get the you know, back size too, just clean them up a little bit. One of the caps I know needs to be painted. Um, it's faded. Uh, the wheels are in great shape though, man. I mean the tires, the front tires need replaced. The back tires are okay. Um, you know if I keep these wheels longer. I make some tires for it or not, you know, since I'm gathering the five lug stuff anyways. But uh, there's no scuffs, there's no road rash, and there's no marks and scrapes on it. So, you know, as old as these wheels are, it's hard for, uh, you know, people, and especially younger drivers, to not hit curbs, scrape them up. So, anyways, I'm stoked. Those Cobra wheels were pretty well trashed. They had marks and scrapes and chips taken out of them. I had road rash on all four wheels. They were in seriously bad condition. But for him, uh, he was happy, he likes them, so everybody happy. All right, up here somewhere, here we go. Yeah, so before I bolt them on, I'm gonna take this up to the car wash and get them a spray down, clean them. All right, man, so I'm here at the car wash. 11 o'clock on a uh, Wednesday night. I'm gonna spray these down with some gunk, get the back clean and scrub them with a brush here. So hopefully we'll get these guys cleaned up a little bit. There's. So we got two tires that are pretty good and two of them that are not, but they'll do for now. 
Alright, so let's see if we can get this thing cleaned up. Alright, so taking a look at these guys over, um, the fronts here have a 205-60, I think, 205-65-16s, the backs are 245, um, 245-50-16s, so, start getting these guys mounted and see what they look like, man. But they look alright. So there it is. So we'll have to world out tomorrow. Um, I'll tell you right now, the front tire is a little too small, and uh, the car needs lowered. But man, <clears throat> the back tires look good. Back wheels look good. Definitely changes the look of the car. Looks more like a uh, looks more like a stock 5.0. Um, still though, I cannot figure out why. Maybe somebody can help me out here on why this camber. It's still off. You can see the top of the wheel. It's still leaning out a little bit. This may not be as no small camera, um, but it is. You can see it there. And um, I'm gonna have to get caster camber plates because the adjustment's already pushed all the way this way as it can. So I may crack it open tomorrow and see if I can't adjust it some more. So we'll get it out in the light uh, tomorrow and get a better look at it. So these will definitely uh, tighten me over. Until I get the five look done. Woohoo! Okay, so next day we got this thing out in the sunlight, get a better look at these wheels. So <clears throat> the front ones look tiny. The wheel size, or the tire size on the front just don't look right. So those are 245s in the back. I'd like to get some 245s for the front. Um, just to match the back for now. It looks good. I think it looks proper for the car. And I aired up the tires last night and they didn't um, deflate. Yep, so there it is. So, anyways, there's the new wheels. Um, it's got a big rake to it now <laughs> because the tires, that front tire looks tiny. It steers a hell of a lot better. Taking those 17 by nines off the front with those wide tires um, definitely, you know, release all the strain on the steering and it doesn't rub anymore. So I can go lock to lock. So the turning radius is a lot better with these. <clears throat> um, today we may try to figure out how to fix the camber issue. Um, this wheel is not quite as bad. This wheel over here is definitely sporting some positive camber. Um, I'm probably going to take it off and see if I can't get to the spindle nuts and loosen them because the top shock tower is completely maxed out. So it's that I'm going to have to wait till we get some of the Maximum Motorsports uh, caster camber plates. And that would at least give me a lot more adjustments on this one. 
Um, and I'm going to need them anyways once we get the 5 lug on it. But for now, this is how I'm going to sport it um, until I can get everything I need for the 5 lug conversion. So, hope you guys like it. I mean, obviously it's just a standard Mustang wheel. But it, like I said, it looks proper on the car. It doesn't look out of place like the Cobra wheels did. So, anyways, I say let's go for a ride, see how they feel. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of run around the block real quick and uh, let the engine warm up. Um, I gotta fix that Jeep today too. That will not be on video. That thing's a bitch to work on. Actually, it's really easy to work on, it's just no fun. Um, I had too much water in the coolant and it froze and we had our freeze here. The pipes busted off and I don't think that the freeze plugs popped out, but I'm 90% certain the freeze plugs are leaking, so. That, unfortunately, is going to be consuming more time than I'd like. And we're off. Oh man, the front end feels totally different. That just feels lighter. The steering effort feels a little bit better. And I'm willing to bet the, uh, you know, there's less traction. I'm hoping these tires are stickier. The last ones were wider, but they were hard. So, yeah, we'll see how, uh, we'll see how this goes here. So she skidded out a little bit back there. Um, <laughs> that's kind of what I expected. They're not as wide. Overall, though, I mean, it drives good. The steering wheel's pretty straight, so I got this alignment fairly good. It needs a little bit of work on the alignment because I think it needs, um, you know, obviously the camber fix, but it tracks not as straight. Another thing about these tires is at least they're, they're maybe worn up front, but they're. Um, not warm the outside, and I can definitely feel the, the difference in the steering. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, but I have a uh, I had an issue with the turn signal cancellation not working. Um, I replaced the switch with the turn signal, and it works fine. Oh, yeah. The turn signal cancellation switch now works. I took the steering wheel apart or pulled it off just to check it out and see what was wrong with it. And it ended up being a, um, a loose screw. So I just tightened up the screw on the um, turn signal switch and I guess that engaged the cam. So that works now. I really need to get a camera holder here so I can get on it and not I have to hold the camera. That's not safe. All right, those. So there you have it. Um, we've got the pony wheels on. Um, I think it's the same step in the same direction. I don't think it's exactly a step up, and that's not what I was going for, anyways. I'm um, just looking to get, like I said, a proper set of wheels for the car for now. Um, you know, I got some paint. It looks like on some of the tires here. Um, they're definitely not as shiny as they were wet once they've dried. You know, they definitely need a new coat of paint or something if I decide to keep them. We got some paint on the on the tire here. So somebody it's probably set these up and decided to uh, spray paint something on top of them. So some overspray on the tires, but probably rub that off with some um, acetone or something. But the back tires in decent shape. Um, front tires are in, I mean they're holding air. <laughs> That's the only thing good I can really say about them, I guess. So, anyways, there you have it. So that's gonna be it um, for now. I'm gonna probably try to go ahead and do something with a camber on it. Um, you know, until I get the caster plates. But it runs and drives. It's not squirrely, and 
it doesn't uh, it doesn't pull hard one way or anything. So I don't think it's too bad. I'm not driving this thing on the freeway anytime soon. So there you have it, guys. Peace out.